Ryan from Solid State Logic, and you're watching GearWire.com. Today I'll be introducing ProConvert, our DAW project conversion tool. Uh, Solid State Logic has recently announced ProConvert 5, and this is our DAW project conversion tool. What it allows you to do is uh, take up to 40 different applications and translate all the points in the edit timeline from one project uh, easily into another project to allow for all your edit points, all your fades and markers, and uh, many other items to be translated in your new application. And the copy audio window, again, is showing me all the audio files up top, um, showing me where they're coming from. And I have a couple different neat features below here. Um, one of them that I'm, I'm using for this particular instance is Use Source Folder. Uh, what this allows me to do is use the original audio files. In this case, I'm using AIFF files that were in the Pro Tools session. I'm actually going to keep those files within the, the audio folder uh, in the Pro Tools folder on my drive and use them so I don't increase any more disk space um, when I'm opening up my Nuendo session. There is another option, should you choose to. Uh, these two are very similar. It's called New Files to New Folder. And that's something where I can choose to create a new folder on a, on a drive or perhaps myself personally, I had done a session from Pro Tools on the PC side and I chose a new folder on a thumb drive and then I translated that session and imported that session on my Logic uh, Apple partition off that drive. So it allows me to really work uh, super conveniently uh, from a PC and an Apple partition on my computer just choosing and copying a new destination drive. Another part of the copy audio folder window is audio format. And this allows you, uh, should you choose to copy to a new folder, you can actually choose the file type here uh, and copy on the outbound. Now this is the last window within the conversion process for ProConvert and it's as simple as hitting the convert button. And I'm going to be met with a window that will actually uh, translate um, the progress bar down below where it's going to show me that I'm converting all my audio files. And you can see that we're done. Uh, it did a very simple 65 megabytes very quickly. And then it's going to ask me where I want to designate my Nuendo uh, session icon. I'm going to go ahead and choose to put that in a specific file setting that I have. I'll just walk you through the process just to see you, just to show you how it's done. I can hit save. I had a previous one there earlier, so I'm going to hit yes to translate. And then I'm done with ProConvert. So now I'm just going to go over and hit File, and I'm going to exit out my ProConvert application. And the next thing to do, easy enough, is just to go ahead and open up Nuendo. And as you can see, that ProConvert was pretty quick, and its process does everything behind the scenes. So the steps that you have to walk through make it very easy for you to keep the integrity of your original session. Uh, so here within Nuendo, I'm just going to go to the File menu, and as normal within the Nuendo application, open up a new project choose my designated folder and then from here I'm just going to go to file go to import if I can actually put my cursor on it and select track archive and now I'm going to pick the Nuendo icon that I saved earlier and I'm going to open that and I'm going to be met with select all my tracks so I'm going to hit select tracks and this will import the audio information and hit OK and immediately, I'm met with my Nuendo session with all my original uh, material intact. And as you can see here, I have the tracks along the timeline that are all have stayed true to the original session. I have my bass track with the fade on the intro. I have my drum tracks with the edit that I needed. And I have all the names and all the tracks are in order. I'm going to go ahead and open up here, too, to make sure that my automation and pan information has translated, and it has, and you can see here that the blue and green uh, on the drum tracks has allowed me to keep the uh, volume and panning information intact within Nuendo. So literally my partner can now start working within Nuendo, and I still have the integrity uh, of, of the information that I needed him to see within my session uh, is now available in his session format uh, easily enough. As you can see, that took no time at all. Uh, the rendering uh, for, for larger sessions, again, takes no time at all. 
Um, so I think uh, this tool is, is very appropriate for anyone that, that is working with anyone else that has clients um, and that may just be curious about other applications. This is something that will allow you to learn that other application uh, on your own time uh, and keep with your, your more familiar application for your professional work. Um, that's something that I'm actually doing right now myself, learning some other applications with sessions that I already know uh, and allowing me to, to kind of get a jump start on that. Um, so I hope you enjoyed uh, our demonstration of uh, Solid State Logic's new ProConvert here on GearWire.com. Uh, we invite you to check out more videos on their website as well as the information on ProConvert on SolidStateLogic.com. Thank you.